welcome guys uh, this video um, I'm gonna show you all the axes that are available on this machine and what they actually do uh, different machines you know you have three four five axes uh, this is a 250 late which is a let me see it's not gonna say but as you see on the door it says MY so that means it has a milling plus it has a Y um, so let's see which axis control what um, let me bring this up a little bit closer okay um, so all your axes that are available on this machine are X, Z, C, W and Y um, not all of them are W is just tail stuck uh, but let's uh, so we pick X okay I'm gonna put everything in the handle mode and this is what the X does the turret's going up and down the turret obviously that is uh, this unit uh, so whenever you program uh, values on X that's telling the machine to either go up or down okay now we're gonna switch to Z okay so Z as you see moves forward and backwards so whatever values you're gonna put on a Z in a unit that usually deals with the length of the part so as this is zero as it's gonna continue coming uh, towards the chuck this is technically what you program as a Z and this is what you're gonna program from the center here as an X okay now let's talk about C so C is what you um, put as a value when it comes to this uh, chuck rotation okay as you see I'm turning this and on the clock okay you see the C is moving what this is is telling you a degree so as a full circle is at 360 degrees okay as you see it's gonna go over to zero and now it's going back so so technically uh, you program this with uh, with a 360 degrees and this technically you're gonna use in milling uh, for you to control your C in a handle mode your C axis has to connect and I made a video about this how to do that now let's go to a W so W on this machine that's gonna be your tail stock okay So this is a tail stock. If you have a machine like this one over there, this is a 250MSY. That that one instead of a tail stock has a second spindle, so you can technically transfer parts from uh, you can transfer parts from one machine to another, and you know from uh, one one. Uh, I'm sorry for its first spindle to a second spindle and continue on your second operation uh, also the choices to move the second spindle is gonna be over here so technically this is where you control the tail stock Y this is gonna be the last one your Y controls here and here as well so you can put in the handle mode okay and Y goes up and down up and down now if you have a lathe with uh, milling capabilities but you don't have a Y your milling is gonna be very very limited uh, your QAs your flats and everything they do require your turret to go up and down uh, if you don't have a Y you can just do it on a C you can do uh, certain things from the uh, edge of the part but not technically when you're here because for that you need to lower like all these holes 
all your chamfers, everything that's actually done using uh, Z and Y. Um, when it comes to it on the X, you can drill holes to size. Um, maybe you can do a single keyway if, let's say, using quarter inch end mill, but technically, you're, like I said, you're very limited. So, in my opinion, um, I wouldn't buy uh, late without the Y if I'm looking for milling capabilities. All right, guys, so these are all your axes, and see you next time.